We're here um, at the Brownsville Forest, which is Nature Conservancy land, as part of a project with the Virginia Coast Reserve LTER, Long Term Ecological Research Center, to study the longer term broad changes of upland forest to marsh. The Chesapeake Bay is a perfect area to study this. It has a really low sloping coast and marsh migration into forests is happening really frequently. This is the area that we're seeing the most rapid change that's happening. And really what that is, is a taking off and expansion of this Morella shrub. It's at this interface that, that we see the Morella taking off, that we see a lot more of the, the adult tree stress because there's more trees and we're starting to see little bits of stress. This has happened significantly quickly since about 2019. We've really seen the expansion of the Phragmites and the shrubs in this kind of area that we used to call the mid forest. It now resembles much more what the low forest looked like when we started in 2019. Uh, this is your, your kind of typical ghost forest with the sun bleached dead trees standing with a marsh understory. Uh, this tree kind of died in place. It stopped being able to access like enough uh, fresh water um, which kind of starts to carbon starve that tree it can't photosynthesize it doesn't get water and it slowly dies in place kind of water everywhere but not a drop to drink the adult trees are more resilient than we thought they would be though the understory is changing much faster than we thought it would um, there's a lot to this picture we don't yet understand the small changes in hydrology are really important so any access to little pockets of uh, fresh water that these individuals are having seem to make a huge difference. So what we're trying to do now is learn more about the hydrology, learn more about how small changes in topography, this high area we're standing on now versus that lower ponded area, how that can significantly affect the ability of these trees to survive. And then finally, what we're looking at is how the elevation of this land is actually changing. You know, like a lot of people are worried that the trees are dying here, but we let the, you know, the people worried about tree conservation do that in, in other places. Here, we're trying to facilitate, to the best of our ability, successful marsh migration into these areas, so that as the marsh is eroding and drowning on one end, we have a new spot for marsh uh, to form on the upland side.